I'm Joe Dixon from the Ethics Centre and joining me today is Deirdre Keogh from Charles Sturt University. Thanks for joining us Deirdre. Thank you. And today we're talking about teaching ethics. And Deirdre, you've been teaching for many years. Can you tell us what is probably the most common misconception students bring to the classroom when they're first learning about ethics? I think probably the, the most common one is the, the, the confusion between unethical and illegal. They don't distinguish and they think that's the same and it's unpacking that um, con um, the concept of ethics of not necessarily being illegal or um, unethical is not Ill illegal. And then when you start diving into teaching ethics, is there a particular branch or component of ethics that students tend to have the most trouble with? Well, I think again it's that fine line between sometimes that illag illegal illegality and the unethical part, because it's quite a fine line between the two, whether someone goes in there and they're just making bad decisions or they are starting out to deceive, um, whether, which, which way that is. And it's that fine line, and it can be subjective sometimes, um, and that's what they struggle with sometimes in trying to sort that out. And it can, it's not necessarily obvious, and people come up with different answers. So when you're helping teach them and get, get them across that. Is there anything that you use or any techniques where you can get that aha moment for your students? No, not really. I don't think that we don't have any sort of road to Damascus type insights into it. It's, um, it tends to kind of dawn, dawn on them and, and when they start applying it and thinking of their own lives. It's not so much what they have taught because they're basically ethical already. I, I think people are ethical. It's just trying to work out and accept that what you might think is ethical is not what society or other people might think is ethical. And that might be a cultural differences as well, coming in there. You talked a bit about applying, I mean, and ethics can be thought of as quite a theoretical subject, but the purpose of teaching ethics in financial planning is actually to move it into the practical. What are some of the techniques you might use to help people when they leave the classroom and move into the workplace? Well, it's, yeah, you're right. Um, it is that theoretical side which can be incredibly dry and turns off. You don't want to give them a textbook on Kant. Um, but we do have, um, especially recently, we've got this enormous um, case, all the case studies and I think that's coming out of the media. We've got lots to draw on, on what could have been done, where they went wrong, if they were in the same position, what they would do. Having said that, you can't really write a manual that says, it's like sets out every sort of situation, turn to page 154 and there's your answer. Education, especially tertiary education, is much more about giving the students a set of tools and is teaching them how to use those tools and then to apply, which then they can use and then beside that set of tools is developing critical thinking so that you can then apply it so when they go out into the business world they can then say well think reflect back and then put that into practice in different situations because every situation they're going to meet is going to be different everyone's unique because they're always different people they're always slightly different so that the critical thinking and being able to use the tools the ethical tools they've been given are um, i think is probably the most useful thing that we can give them perfect thanks for joining us pleasure